The physics of tetherball can be a bit confusing at first. The ball orbits in a horizontal circle, but it isn't immediately clear which force provides the inward centripetal force that causes it to move in that circle. Let's turn on the force diagram and watch the tetherball orbit for a little while. As you can see, a tension force points up at an angle toward the tip of the pole. The gravitational force, or weight, points downward. Since the ball is orbiting in a horizontal plane and not accelerating upward or downward, we know that the vertical component of tension must balance the weight. Since the ball is moving in a circle and not a straight line, that means it must be accelerating. The acceleration is inward toward the center of the circle of motion. What force causes this acceleration? As you can see, neither the tension nor the gravitational force points directly inward. However, the horizontal component of tension is unbalanced and it does point inward. Any force or force component that points towards the center of a circular motion is said to be centripetal. Let's check this. If we increase the speed or decrease the radius of motion, we should expect the acceleration to increase. This means we'd expect the horizontal component of tension to increase as well. When we increase the speed, the horizontal component of tension does indeed increase. And when we decrease the radius of motion, the horizontal component of tension increases as well. If we look at the graph at top left, we notice that the centripetal force isn't a linear function of speed, but in fact bears a quadratic relationship. The shape is more of a parabola than a line. This is consistent with our understanding that centripetal force depends on the square of speed. If we look at the graph at top right, we notice that the centripetal force falls inversely with cable length. In fact, the radius of circular motion and the cable length are closely related, but they do not exactly equal one another. The ratio of the radius of motion to the length of the cable is actually equal to the sine of the angle the rope makes with the vertical. If you hit the ball and cause it to speed up, you'll notice that the angle it makes grows. This is because at higher speed, the tension increases and the vertical component of tension briefly exceeds the weight of the ball. This causes the ball to accelerate upward. When the angle is about right, the upward acceleration ceases. Try playing around with the mass of the ball and seeing if the graphs adjust as you'd expect.